Good morning, Eagles. Welcome to Eagle TV 2.0. I'm Julia Swanson. And I'm George Zhao. Today is Friday. We have a fantastic show for you today. A brand new entertainment update, Nuku News, and much more. So stay tuned. I can't believe it's already Friday and early out. The week has gone by so fast. I know. I'm really looking forward to get this weekend to catch up on some sleep, homework, and maybe watch a little TV. Speaking of catching up on TV, let's turn it over to Nolan for an entertainment update. Nolan, take it away. Tuesday night was major as news of Ariana Grande suing Forever 21 came to light. Her team stated that Forever 21 launched an unauthorized marketing campaign. Since Ariana declined to deal with them for marketing purposes last November, after the success of the hit Thank You Next, they decided to go ahead anyway and use her work in their campaign. Grande's team stated that Forever 21 falsely suggested her participation in the campaign as they hired a model that had a striking resemblance to her. Forever 21 states that they did not pay Grande, but they simply stole it by launching a misleading campaign across its website and social media platforms. Some images used in their campaign came directly from Grande's Instagram and her Seven Rings music video. Ariana is seeking $10 million in damage as she accuses them of false endorsement, along with trademark and copyright infringements. In other news, Kirsten Dunst finally received her long-awaited star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. She is most notably known for her roles in Spider-Man, Fargo, and Bring It On. Despite her comments noting that she did not feel as recognized in the industry, Dunst is grateful for this memorable moment in her career. She was surrounded by her fiancé Jesse Plemons, their son Ennis, and her family on this momentous occasion. And finally, on powerful woman in the music industry, Lizzo tops the Billboard Hot 100 as the fifth black woman in history to claim number one on the charts. Her performance at the MTV Music Awards rose her song Truth Hurts from number three to number one. Sometimes truth doesn't hurt, it actually feels pretty good. Have an amazing weekend, Eagles, and I will see you next Thursday for a special interview with Comedy Sports. Thanks, Nolan, for always keeping us up to date on all the latest entertainment news. While we're on the topic of news, we have a brand new edition of Nickel News for you today. I wonder what she has for us today. Let's check it out. Hey guys, it's Nickel, and welcome back to Nickel News. So basically, it's the fourth week of school, and I feel like by now you have something that you like about school so far, so I decided to ask you guys what that thing is. So let's go see what you have to say. I'm here with... Jordan Chung. So what are you enjoying about school so far? Um, I guess dances, football games, those have been fun, also the food. The first football game? Yeah. Oh, that was good. Okay, so I'm here with Tamara. So what are you enjoying about school so far? Um, I'm really enjoying um, cross country right now. I love that, so that's fun. Are you in track too? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not starting yet, but that's yeah, spring. Yeah. Okay. spring. <laughs> okay, so I'm here with Ryan. So, what are you enjoying about school so far? Um, you know, being on ETV right now. Thanks for the plug. Yeah. So, there are some pretty fun things to be excited about. I am personally excited for all the dances and all the senior activities, like every other senior will say to you. But I will see you guys next week on an episode. Back to you in the studio. Thanks for another great edition of Nickel News. Last week, we introduced a brand new segment called Brain Blurts. We have a new installment for you today. Let's check it out and see if our eagles have what it takes to answer these brain-busting questions. Hey guys, I'm Miranda, and this is our first episode of Brain Blurts. So let's get right to it. Hey guys, we're here with Ava and Grace. Now, guys, do you know what galaxy the Earth is in? No idea. Isn't there just one galaxy? Which is? Sorry, guys, that was incorrect. Hey, guys, we're here with... Ben Durham. Now, Ben, do you know what the largest organ in the human body is? Um, uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, that's incorrect. I'm with... Caitlin. Now, Caitlin, do you know how many continents there are? Eight. Sorry, that's incorrect. I'm with... Ryan Cummins. Now, Ryan, do you know how many legs a spider has? Eight. That's correct. Congratulations. You're smarter than a fifth grader. Awesome. We're here with... Charlie. Now, Charlie, do you know the most famous fault in California? San Andreas. Congratulations! You're smarter than a fifth grader. Thank you. Hey guys, so we're here with Matthew. Now, Matthew, how many years old is the Earth? Uh, 
Sorry, that is incorrect. Thanks, SM. That was our very first episode of Brain Blurts. Now, back to the host in the studio. Great job, Eagles. I think I would have what it takes to win Brain Blurts. Maybe I'll compete next time. I'd like to see that. Now, moving on to some campus ministry news. Mr. Visconti is here with us in the studio to tell us all about what's going on in the world of Camp Min. Take it away, Mr. Visconti. Oh man, it's beautiful out here. Oh, hey Sam, I didn't see you there. Uh, Mr. Visconti, just uh, here this morning to talk to you a little bit about retreats. I hope that you all make your grade level retreat. If you are having just a tough time, if you've been stressed out lately, if uh, you're tired, if you need some time away, retreats are a perfect opportunity for you to get away from campus, for you to spend time with friends, uh, to think about your faith, to ask the big questions about life, uh, and to really just kind of grow together as a people. So I really just want to take the time to encourage you all to go on your retreats, to come on into the office, to ask us questions. If you're somebody who hasn't made a retreat, say you're a senior and you didn't go on your freshman, your sophomore, or your junior retreat, please, Please, I can't say this enough, go on Kairos. Uh, I graduated from SM and Kairos was probably one of the most important things that I did as a student here. And it would really be a shame if you missed out on that opportunity. So please everyone, take a look at the calendar, go to the SM website and go to the campus ministry portion of the website, check out when your grade level retreat is and grab a friend and sign up. All right, SM, I'm gonna just enjoy it out here on the grass right in front of the library. It's just so beautiful. Have a, have a great Friday, everyone, and a great weekend. Thanks, Mr. Rascani. Campus Ministry has so many amazing events and opportunities. Be sure to swing by in their office and see what they have going on. The homecoming dance is coming up. For a quick homecoming update, we turn it over to Elizabeth Bondi. Hey guys, I'm here with Mr. Barry, and homecoming is right around the corner. So, Mr. Barry, what should we know about homecoming voting? Well, this is your chance to choose who you want to be on the homecoming court this year. There will be one sophomore prince, sophomore princess, a junior prince, junior princess, and four senior princes and four senior princesses. And uh, ultimately, you will choose the homecoming king and queen from among the seniors. All right, great. And how are we going to be able to vote? Well, first, um, if you haven't gotten it already, you're going to want to check your email. Look for an email from me with instructions on how to vote. The first round of voting chooses the overall homecoming court. And then the second round of voting will actually choose who is elected to the homecoming king and homecoming queen. And of course, you will not learn the results to that vote until the homecoming halftime show for the queen and the homecoming dance for the king. Great, and when does homecoming voting end? For the court, homecoming voting ends this Friday at 3 p.m. All right, we gotta get on that, Eagles. Thank you so much, Mr. Barry. Thanks, Elizabeth. Homecoming is going to be so much fun. Make sure to go out and get your tickets. And that about wraps up our show, Eagles. But before we go, let's wish a happy birthday to Jackson Glassman and Bing Chain, Abigail Davis and Kaylee Johnson, Layla Kesselman and Madison Robin, and Marlene Tonkey. This has been Eagle TV 2.0. I'm Julia Swanson. And I'm George Zhao. Have a great weekend, Eagles.